This is Jonathan Levy, the architect for the new Fuller Middle School in Framingham. This exciting project will replace the existing uh, Fuller Middle School, which is housed in the former Framingham South High School building, which served the community well for 60 years, but it's now in need of dire replacement. A community-led effort over many years and a partnership with the Mass School Building Authority has led to the design you're about to see, as well as a commitment from the state to grant over $39.5 million to the project. The placement of the new building will allow for uh, new athletic fields and open space to the west of the site. It's a building which is about STEAM, which you may have heard of, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, a new way of teaching kids about exploring the world through project-based education, in a way that involves a great deal of collaboration and requires a, an entirely different type of school facility. Here we're circling around the building and coming to the front entrance and I'm going to give you a guided tour. Into the front door uh, there'll be a, an assembly area here for the students uh, to enjoy one another's company before going into the front door and arriving at the balcony overlooking the cafeteria which is the first stop on our tour. Now we're going to go into a typical classroom, which has many innovative features, including 100% daylighting to save the cost of operation and also to in increase the uh, student performance in natural daylight. Off to the left, the panorama teaching wall, and to the right, the teacher's preparation office, which takes the school desk out of the classroom and into a place where, as we can see here, walking in the corridor balcony, it can observe the entire school operation and where the students can see the teachers doing their wonderful collaborative work. The corridor balconies overlook uh, the main cafeteria and learning commons. They're separated from it by a wall of lockers, 48 inches high, higher than code requirement. There is glass looking into the classroom so that this is a visible learning and teaching environment so the students can be enjoy and in, be inspired by one another's work. Now let's go inside uh, through the community entrance uh, to the west end of the cafeteria learning commons and here we see the first medium-sized uh, collaboration space called the cohort commons for the upper grades up the stairs and now to another cohort commons overlooking the cafeteria you can also see breakout spaces where STEAM education will take place, breaking out from the regular classrooms to do special projects. Uh, these are housed and distributed throughout uh, the Learning Commons cafeteria space. Let's go back outside, back the way that we came, and now overlooking the entire site, understanding it and its situation, forming a campus with the Fuller Middle School, the McCarthy, and the uh, Farley uh, making a new educational campus for the city. In front of the building, set way back, will be a community commons, a large open slope green space, uh, which will become a new civic resource for the entire city of Framingham, and an identity also for South Framingham. You can see here a concert perhaps in place, utilizing the great resources of our terrific arts and music programs. So that concludes our tour of the new Fuller Middle School. I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, we look forward to collaborating with you as we move forward into the future. Thank you.